Well, it was back in the 1940s that one of the major players in the charitable sector was born. We know it today as Oxfam. And on their 50th anniversary, there was no celebration at all, far from it, quite the opposite. Just feelings of frustration that five decades in, they were still needed. Well, over the years, all sorts of big names have tried to play their part. If you're of a certain generation, you will remember George Harrison and his concert for Bangladesh. Then, of course, there was Bob Geldof's Live Aid phenomena. And today we have Lenny Henry and Comic Relief. But each and every day, there are literally thousands of charities, groups and individuals trying to do their bit for those worse off than they are. And that is brilliant. Every little bit helps. But of course, any aid that we give is only dealing with the symptoms rather than the core issue, the root of the problem. And perhaps some of the uh, negative energy that's around today uh, concerning people who might have a slightly different opinion than me or uh, take adhere to a particular moral code could be turned into some positive righteous anger against those who perpetrate such injustice and live off the profits. Rulers of impoverished nations who themselves enjoy much luxury and live the life of Riley. CEOs of global conglomerates and their shareholders who line their pockets with the proceeds of what really is the modern slave trade and politicians who might, uh, shall we say, be selective where they raise issues of human rights abuse because of other matters that creep up the agenda. But what can we do? We can seem so powerless as individuals. But again, every little bit helps. Perhaps we could find a cause that really troubles us and commit ourselves to, to writing uh, conscientiously and purposefully and regularly to those who have an influence on the issue. Maybe we could write in real pen and ink writing rather than on an uh, electronic device, device or email. Maybe we could join a lobby group or perhaps take courage and boycott a product, a brand or a service. And if you're a person of faith, then prayer is no sneezing matter. Indeed, the God of the Bible says that everyone who prays in his name, well, it has a powerful effect. I don't know what you reckon, but it's got to be worth a thought. This Sunday, we continue to follow the life and times of Moses. And as his conflict with the forces of evil in Egypt comes to a, a tremendous and literally awful conclusion, it opens up the way for the next uh, part of his mission, one that will secure ultimately the eternal destiny of every man, woman and child who has ever lived. And that includes you and me. You would be most welcome to join us. We're just ordinary people who live and believe and trust in an extraordinary God. But for now, do take care, stay safe, and thank you for listening.